Breakdown Morning Show. I'm Dr. Bernie Wilkinson. I'm Dr. Richard Marshall. And Happy New Year. Thank you. Same it's, to you. It's January 2nd, 2017, and I'm committed to only messing that up 50 times this week. I know. It's going to be hard getting used to that. Yeah. So, so January 2nd, 2017. 17. There you go. Um, and we're starting off another week, another year, another day. Uh, in, in our merry lives, <laughs> you know, over the, over the holidays, uh, people would ask what we do, and we I talk about the podcast. Oh, and you you end up talking about the podcast to mm -hmm. visitors and guests and party goers, and um, and I thought here we go again, yeah. Right? And um, what's on tap for this week? Because well, they were asking me how we organize, how, if we have some organizational structure or what we do about these things. So. You know, we, we do have an organizational structure of what we try to do each each day of the week. But over the past few weeks, we have sort of had a theme for the right. week. Mm -hmm. And so as we were getting ready for this week, another theme came up. And and so we were thinking, well, <laughs> you know, let's, why not? YOLO. Well, you know why I can't? The re <laughs> one of the reasons it came up is because all the shopping that we do, you see things like BOGO. Right. And right. all these little four letter acronyms while right. you're out shopping. And so that struck a little right. note with us and we thought, right. why don't we pursue that theme right at the beginning of the well, year? Well in the in this age of, of social media where we're limited to, you know, hundred and forty characters and, and those kinds of things, we begin to abbreviate everything. And and so there are these really You, you know, know Trump has taken over tweet Twitter. I've heard that. I don't. I don't follow he has him. Millions of followers. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I. I, I don't follow um, many celebrities or anything like that on on social media. But could you? Um, could I? I. I could. I mean, you can. Yeah. Anyone could. I don't know. I don't tweet. I don't tweet. Is that the right English? I don't tweet. <sighs> uh, I don't use Twitter. So today on the show, we're going to talk about, we're going to start a, a series for this week where we're going, to, we're going to hit some of those big acronyms that are used very commonly. But, you know, depending on how you think about them, they could have some pretty good sound psychological right. um, principles within them. And make them easier to remember. Right. So. Right. So the first one is, I, I mentioned it a minute ago, and it just, it, it flew by because of, um, I don't know. Something else that you mentioned, maybe that was Donald Trump. Well, but um, you laugh at me when I, because I don't know these acronyms. Right. I mean, I didn't know BOGO until a few months ago. I, so, so when you say YOLO, <clears throat> what's the first one today? YOLO. YOLO. No idea what you were talking about. Yeah. Well, you got to be, you got to be hip and in the, in the now. YOLO. You, you only live once. Uh, see? Right. So, <clears throat> so YOLO. So today is going to be at YOLO. Today is YOLO. And, okay. and. And it makes sense that today would be yellow because you, you only oh. live once, and and so you know it's the first of the year, Beginning and so of the year. that so yellow does mean you only live once, Correct. and it's it's thrown out and it, it's used a lot, and it's it's used by people oftentimes to um, a, as an excuse for doing something that oh. they wouldn't otherwise do. Hey, you only live once, so why not you know do wh something why not? stupid? Right? Is that what right. you? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so people have the tattoos and everything now. But I, I think that YOLO is a, a terrific reminder for us that, you know, while we do only live once, it is important for us to, you know, take some risks and take, create some opportunities and, and take opportunities when they present because those opportunities may not present themselves again. So YOLO could also be positive. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Because I used to have a friend who used to say, you only live once, mm -hmm. but if you do it right, once is enough. Right. Right. And that's well, what that, he was talking about. That would be too long of an acronym, um, ah. but we can use that. We can th sort of tag that onto the end of YOLO. Um, it exceeds the Twitter <laughs> that's length, right. right? Yeah. So so with, with the idea of YOLO, what, what we want to impress upon you is that as we're going into this new year and we're starting... Um, you know, we always look at this time of year as a, a time to refresh and, and reset and restart ourselves and, uh, and, and all. What we want to remind you to do is, is keep in mind 
that when opportunities do come up, that when you have the chance to do something and that you take it because you don't know if that opportunity is going to come up again. True. And we talked about that a week or so ago right? with, um, with youngsters, with teenagers, right. that you have to take advantage of the opportunities as they come around mm -hmm. because as you get older, the opportunities shut down. Right. If you want to be a fighter pilot, right. you better make that decision before you're in your early 20s right? because um, each year it, it's less and less likely that right. you're going to be a fighter pilot. Right, mm -hmm. right. So the, the other side of it, though, I think it is, is the creating opportunities right. because you know, like you just said, you know, being a fighter pilot, it, there's a limited, uh, a limited a window. range right. window in which you can actually pursue something like that. Mm -hmm. And so, if you're wanting to start a new business or you're wanting to do something uh, new, something that you've never done before, if you want to go back to school, you you need to jump on those opportunities or create those opportunities right. because time is. Limited. That's right. And and there's a phrase, there's there's some question of who came up with it, but um it goes something like the problem is you think you have time. Right. You know, and you and you really if, if you're going to do something, you need to get on with it. Right. Okay. Um instead of and it it also comes under this broad heading of positive psychology mm -hmm. of, of do something positive. Right? right. So this this is also one of those positive psychology um mantras that that you could live by. Right. right? Right. So, so when you see, I, I know a lot of people out there, when they see YOLO, they roll their eyes and they think, okay, those crazy pesky teenagers, there they go again with those crazy acronyms and sayings. But let's embrace something like YOLO, or you can make right. it whatever you wanted to make it. Mm -hmm. But the idea, again, is of, of making the opportunity happen and, right. and taking the chances because you, you don't know if you're going to, to get it again. And when those windows close, it's sometimes very, very difficult to get them to open up again. That's right. Teddy Roosevelt had a wonderful phrase about that. I'll have to think about it. Um, better to dare mighty things, even though checkered with defeat, than to live in the gray twilight that knows neither victory nor defeat. And he was right. You only live once. YOLO. <laughs> you can say all of that, or you can say YOLO. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, you have to. You have to get on with it. You can't. You can't sit and think what. What if? Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd really like to. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, get on with it. Go, right. go do it. Get your mistakes out of the way because you're inevitably going yeah. to make them. Get your mistakes out of the way, um, and but get on with it. Do do it. Right. Get out there and do it. Right. Yeah. And, and I think that that's, that's the best summation right. is just the Nike. Right? The Nike. Just do the it. Nike th yeah. It's, uh, it really is. Just do it. Just go out there and do it. You are going to stumble. You're going to make mistakes. and But you'll learn how to do it mm -hmm. as you're making those mistakes. Right. But you have to take those first couple of steps. They're scary. They're frightening. They're intimidating. But you have to take those first few steps. Yeah. Once you do it... Uh, you look back and say, okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it might have been. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Absolutely. So, all right. So we hope that you had a very good transition to the new year. Right. We are working hopefully to, to start off on a, on a positive step to That's get right. the, uh, to get the new year really going, going well and, and moving in the, in the direction that you wanted to go so that you right. can, you know, be the person that you want to be. Take That's what it's all about. Take the initiative and get some things done. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So this week, again, we're going to be talking about some of the different acronyms and uh, hopefully give you a slightly different perspective of them. So even if you see them, instead of being immediately uh, annoyed by <laughs> by right. seeing them, you That's will right. uh, you, you'll you sort of have a different way to think about them. Cast a new perspective. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Well, that's it for today. We will be back tomorrow morning for another episode of the the Mental Breakdown Morning Show. Right. Uh, you can check us out on, on, on YouTube. Um, of course, we're on iTunes and Google Play Music and all that kind of good stuff. So uh, write to us. Let us know what you think. And we'll be happy to interact with you. Yes. All right. Let us hear. So we'll see you in the morning. Good day. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you.